can I see your ID, my friend? The question I've been asking and will continue to ask. Anyway, guys, welcome to another Kingdom Identity segment. Filming and coming to you on location. Which location is that? Here I am at a baseball field behind me with, as you can see, you know, here already hear kids screaming in front of me. I've got a big playground over there. Um, anyway, I uh, wanted to talk to you guys again uh, on the subject matter of our Kingdom Identity and Purpose. That our identity in Christ and our identity through Christ. And today I want to talk to you about uh, the identity of Jezebel. We all know this character, this individual from the, Bi uh, from the Bible. And and uh, this individual, who was uh, she was a queen, and she was a queen, a uh, wife to Ahab, who was also a corrupt king. You know, when we hear the name Jezebel, obviously one of the first things that can come to us is like, yeah, you know, it's like some kind of a spirit, or it's a woman, you know, that brings division, etc. Which is true. And obviously, you know, this name carries such significance to it that I've personally never met a female named Jezebel. You know, you may call you maybe your cat a Jezebel or another animal <laughs> because of just the characteristic. Um, uh, traits that are attributed to this person are very evil and not good so obviously that's not a name I don't care so today I want to talk to you guys about 10 specific characteristic traits or things that are attributed to to Jezebel uh, things that uh, she portrayed in her personal life and honestly how we see the spirit of Jezebel very live and active right now in this world in our society not only in the body of Christ but just I mean overall in the broad and especially like never before in our time and in our generation so here are these 10 things 10 things that I wanted to talk to you guys about one of them is sexual immorality uh, which is adultery lust pornography gender confusion homosexuality you name it um, how the spirit of Jezebel, how it's working in this area, in the region, and we, uh, in this, just in this whole sphere, should I say, in that region. And what you notice is that um, in her time, uh, when you read the Bible, she brought much sexual immorality in her time. And as much as she did that back then, that is very alive and active right now, that we have people, doesn't matter which gender they are, they're operating in this, honestly, it's a demonic type of a spirit and characteristic that is just totally bringing sexual immorality and perversion. Next thing is division, manipulation, and witchcraft. Uh, we understand her role that she played in the Bible as she literally divided the prophets. She was persecuting godly prophets, and the prophets that she had around her were already corrupt and just a big mess and as much as that was taking her time we also see that taking place right now in the body of Christ where people who are not submitting to the Holy Spirit are actually submitting to obviously demonic spirits or another video I talked about the spirit of Lucifer and uh, they're operating in an area of division manipulation now this is not only amongst only Christians but we just see it uh, abroad in our society and so on and so forth the third thing is suicide you know this is very interesting that uh, you know when uh, Elijah you know he started running away from her he's like look man she's persecuting me she wants to kill me I, I just want to die literally he just felt so depressed and just stood down just wanted to die and then obviously had an encounter with God the thing is this this demonic spirit you know is like to also call it the spirit of Jezebel it's attacking many people especially from within the younger generation like never before the suicide rate is just literally going through the roof and this is uh, where the spirit uh, is actually uh, working in our culture and our society and that's one of uh, the characteristic traits as I, as I said about the spirit of Jezebel number four divorce the destruction of family unit I mean the, the the, the, it's just it's sad to say how many uh, Christian families you know uh, we see falling apart uh, for an example you know for those who do not know my background for a number of years I was a wedding photographer and I took pictures of about maybe 150 weddings or more and you know there was this one time I was just kind of going and flipping through the archives and I came across that file you know of the weddings I took and I was just kind of looking through the couples quite a few of them I knew some of them didn't know but here's here's the sad and scary thing the, the, the couples that I didn't know because you know I, you know I have people on social media and Facebook etc I'm like oh my goodness this couple divorced this couple divorced this couple divorced I'm like geez wow so many couples have already divorced not only the ones that I attended the wedding but I was actually as a wedding photographer so this spirit of Jezebel it's it's affecting families it's, it's in the family destruction even with the laws and regulations that we hear right now that we see right now that's coming out is just a total demonic mess as I like to call it the fifth thing is rebellion uh, she brought much rebellion in her time and obviously you know as the saying goes you know who wears the pants in the family we knew Queen Jezebel was the one that wore the pants in the pants in the kingdom it wasn't uh, her uh, the King Ahab and uh, this is how this also uh, spirit uh, works in our culture in our societies to bring rebellion to bring divisiveness and so on and so forth the sixth characteristic trait is um, 
opposing the word of God. And we understand that she was persecuting the prophets. She was persecuting, obviously, Elijah and anyone who stood by God's word, anyone who stood in righteousness and holiness. She was, she was persecuting them and she was killing them. And the same spirit is very active right now in our time. Not only, you know, within the body of Christ, but just attacking the body of Christ, attacking fellow Christians uh, and uh, opposing the word of God. Because when the word of God says that this is right and this is wrong, the world or the spirit is saying what is right is wrong and what is wrong needs to be right you know if the bible says you know this is what marriage is well that that spirit says so, something else so it's the sixth characteristic the seventh one is fear and depression bringing much fear and depression just as much as she was bringing much fear into the lives of many people at her time we see much fear and depression attacking many people especially depression it's like oh my goodness the antidepressant pills keep on increasing increasing in their production in their different brands and etc and that's not how it needs to be so this is one of the areas where this uh, spirit of uh, of uh, Jezebel is affecting our culture and our society number uh, eight is the spirit of feminism you know not take it out of context yes yeah, she was a female but uh, it's it's like almost like a deadly cure that we're seeing just the spirit of feminism rising up and one end it seems like well you know we, we need more uh, uh, recognition for the woman you know a better pay, pay, pay rate and stuff like that okay I get that but but it's it's a lot more beyond that where uh, this, this spirit is just activating and totally bringing destruction in our culture, in our society, into our children, into our daughters, into marriages, so on and so forth. And this is how the, this demonic spirit, the spirit of Jezebel, works and operates. Number um, nine is the spirit of religion. Oh man, this is a big one. This is a very big one. Where you become so religious and legalistic that you're not allowing uh, the Holy Spirit to begin to reveal to you the things that supposed to be the truth and the spirit of Jezebel that's how she works and that's how she operates I've come across many individuals throughout my life they're just so religious and legalistic you're like oh my goodness man you cannot even have a normal conversation with them you cannot and even in the time of Jezebel she acted you know holy in a sense you know she supposedly you know was doing good things she had a bunch of prophets around her and things of that nature but obviously there were the prophets of Baal and they were just doing a bunch of immoral uh, things as well so this uh, spirit of Jezebel work strongly in the area of religion and the tenth one is abortion um, it's uh, it's crazy guys how many uh, babies are being aborted I know you know this is gonna ruffle up some feathers because you know some people even Christian folks have different perspective in this but it's it, it's the spirit of Jezebel that works in this area that because when you can snuff out and take a life right now that means you're stripping that kingdom identity in that child and those millions and millions and millions and millions of babies that have been aborted and continue to be aborted that's a individual kingdom identity that God has already embedded into the child's uh, spiritual DNA that never saw that never came to fruition let me put it this way never because this demonic spirit of Jezebel totally took that life out and did not allow that boy or that girl that child to come to its full maturity and to release its kingdom potential upon this earth so these are the ten things that guys want to share with you concerning the spirit of Jezebel there's a lot more I can talk about it but hopefully you know you can take this with a grain of salt and fully ponder on them and look deep into them uh, because it, these are very serious uh, things and the more you do the more the Holy Spirit begins to reveal to you that we need to operate by the Spirit of God and not be submitted to the Spirit of Jezebel all right until next time